Hey everybody, welcome back to Listography. Jason, Cram, and Joe here. Uh, we've been talking about the police for the last couple of days, and uh, today we're going to talk about our top five Stuart Copeland drum parts. Copeland, a very well-respected, very gifted drummer, brings a lot to the band, even though some of us may not care for what he brings. Uh, but we're going to get into those uh, parts. I guess, uh, Cram, going to start us off? Okay. Uh, my number five pick is very interesting. It's not a police song. It's a Peter Gabriel song called Red Rain. And you know you have a talent when you are brought in to just do the hi-hat on a song, which is what he does on the song Red Rain off the album So. The drummer on the album So does the rest of the work, um, but Copeland is brought in just to do the hi-hat, and that speaks volumes. Number four for me is going to be No Time This Time. Really awesome, just kind of fast killer snare rolls it's awesome number three is going to be synchronicity one uh love the just the fast urgency he does here i believe the song is in seven four and he plays it in four four and catches up and makes it work it's amazing number two driven to tears um just kind of an explosion of all of his credentials he does everything he does really quick little ton fills he does hi-hat flutters does the ride snare stuff he's just putting so much flavor on this it's a it's awesome and number one is the extravaganza of hi-hat and snare back and forth on message in a bottle really awesome i think that's him playing to his strength and it's just it's got just such a cool beat to it it's it's awesome well Cramsey, you stole my thunder but that's all right uh my number five Stuart Copeland's work on Red Rain by Peter Gabriel. Cram's already explained that one, so we'll just move on. My number four is gonna be Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. Maybe it's because I love the song so much, but just hearing that little kind of at the beginning, I mean, he's a, he's a master of the hi-hat. I think we all know and have established that. And I just love the work he does specifically on this song. Number three is gonna be Don't Stand So Close To Me. Uh, just a great beat, kind of like a TikTok kind of thing going on. I think it really works with the kind of urgency of the song. Number two is going to be Driven to Tears. Just a great, like Cramser said, kind of a master class of what he does all in one song. But my number one is going to be Walking on the Moon. I just love the atmosphere he brings. I don't know, I don't know if it's like a reverb drum sound, but it, it just sounds perfect for the song you know, about the moon. It's really just cool, very, got that echoey, just, it works for me. I really like it. I think in a lot of ways he can drive a song by himself sometimes. I think this is a good example of him, you know, he's not just a drummer. He's almost, you know, like a Getty Lee where he, his drum is an instrument instead of just kind of the rhythm. This was a little difficult for me. I'm sure it has a lot to do with the fact that I don't like reggae and I don't like reggae beats that much. Um, something about it, I don't know what it is, just annoys me. And the way he sort of treats those reggae rhythms, he plays a lot of like, he definitely has a, a distinct style, which I think is a, a positive thing to say about a drummer. But a lot of the decisions and the choices that he makes just annoy me. I don't know why. It might be like a uh, like someone who doesn't like Ingve Malmsteen for just like overplaying. Ingve Malmsteen, clearly a great guitar player, but a lot of people don't like him. I, I feel the same way about Stuart Copeland. I think he's a great drummer. I just don't like the choices he makes for most of the Police's songs. There are a handful, however, that I do think he plays a bit more restrained, and I enjoy those more. And those are going to be next to you from the first album. Just a really straightforward, propulsive rock song, some nice ride work in the chorus. Number four, I've got every little thing she does is magic. I don't know if it's delay or if he's actually just playing like ghost notes with the side stick, but I like that a lot in the in the verses. And then the snare crack into the choruses is really awesome. Number three, I've got synchronicity too. I think just through the whole song he plays very tastefully and, and appropriately for the track. Uh, I also have Synchronicity 1, which I feel the same way about. I think uh, his playing on that is is pretty 
pretty cool. And also I have Wrapped Around Your Finger. Not my favorite song, uh, especially the verses, but I think his work in the chorus of that song was pretty cool. Uh, so that's what I came up with for five Stuart Copeland drum parts that I like. Can't believe you find him annoying. Joe, we might have to hijack this channel until Jason gets out <laughs> in the sanitarium. It's I mean, cool. yeah, I'm very surprised. I really, because he's so kind of jazzy and I, I just, I don't hear the overplaying, especially in like the, in the context of the band with the kind of sparse upright bass and the sparse guitar work. You know, I think he, he has to be kind of that third leg for the band to stand on and if he was pushed to the back i think it would really just not work especially in the early stuff maybe like synchronicity he does kind of restrain himself a little bit as far as the the jazzy and the kind of all over the place but i think he knows when to play a lot and when to play a little i think that's one of his strengths yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm surprised by jason on this maybe overplaying is the wrong word choice because he's not like going crazy and just like playing ridiculous fills and stuff like that. So that's not what I mean when I say overplaying, but you know, he'll be playing a straight beat and then he'll play like these little, like little, you know, those little tom taps that he'll do or he'll do it on the hi-hat a lot. That's that's my favorite part. <laughs> like you don't need that's to. Why I like it. Just don't do that. It's <laughs> you don't know what you want to say. I think you're just misdirecting your anger. Like this is, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And if you think they're kind of boring, imagine what they would sound like with just a run-of-the-mill drummer. Like, this is this is the police, man. Who's your favorite member of the police? I guess Andy Summers by default. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. Interesting. Interesting and wrong. I mean, you can't like everybody. You were pretty wrong about the Eagles, so. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Who are we gonna do with a? Uh, who are we gonna do that Joe doesn't like? Um, everything from two thousand. We'll do Animal Collective. That ought to do it for him. I think you have to choose a band that's actually like famous and well regarded, not your little indie subculture, whatever. Sorry. I think Animal Collective is pretty well regarded. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, those were our top five favorite Stuart Copeland drum parts. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, comment below, and we will see you next time.